I think I just realized more that I can live without a lot of different things that obviously the day to day, when you're able to go a lot of different places and stuff like that, you kind of realize that, hey, maybe I don't need this right now, or maybe the flashy cars or stuff like that, you know, it can wait a little minute, you whatever, so. Patience, you know, we, we don't control, um, you know, everything like like we think, you know, things that are out of, out of our control, you just have to let it happen, you have to stay patient, just continue to grow in your own way um, when things don't go your way. What I've learned through spending time with quarantine this year is just, you know, it's great to have family time, great to be able to come together, and it's a lot of time to think to yourself and get to work. I probably needed a little bit of this, a little bit of time to sit, learn, reflect, and um, just be more comfortable with myself. It's appreciating life itself and what you have in front of you and the people that you have around you. Spending quality time with yourself, getting to know yourself, and being able to adapt to the new normal to make it better for yourself and anyone else too. Never take any time, you know, for granted. You know, every 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 day we step on on this earth and every every moment that we have, you want to take full advantage of it because you don't know when it's your last. Value your loved ones. Spend the most time that you can with your loved ones because, you know, no day is promised. I got a lot of family time and it was unbelievable. Spending no time with my daughter, my first daughter, Wynn, is just indescribable. It's unbelievable. Man, I think I became a better dad and husband. Just go fishing or something like that. I like to ride ATVs. Like, I'm the type of guy, you know, I don't need no one else to, you know, to do something fun. I'm really like a documentary type of guy. I like to watch a lot of documentaries. But I start picking up more books and actually reading more books. Uh, that's something I'm very interested in, whether it's, you know, financial education, education, uh, spiritual growth books and different things like that. Well, I went fishing for like seven days in a row and I didn't catch anything. You know, I'm a competitor, so I said I'm gonna try this uh, this eighth day and I went out there and caught two bass, so. 2020 has been crazy. I mean, I think um, no one really saw a lot of these things coming, uh, especially COVID, so everyone has been able to take a step back and learn what's truly important, the people around you, what's truly important and um, be ready for anything. You never know what life's gonna throw your way. It's not a matter about what happens, it's how you handle it and, and how you push through and learn from it. So uh, wish everyone the best as we finish out 2020.